but he started his faith with laughing when God said you will have a son and Abraham went <laughs> that's a joke he was laughing at God when God said something so outside of this world so here is a man who is the father of faith who is laughing because God is doing such a great things but his faith started with laughing mocking God and saying that's completely ridiculous God you don't make mistakes but I am your first mistake <laughs> you did you're not speaking to the right person you misdialed the number God that's not me I am an old man I won't have children you know what the first thing you have to overcome in your faith is your own laughter of unbelief you will laugh at some things God will tell you when God will tell you you're successful but the only thing you experienced is failure and it's an inside laugh it's the thing that says you're right mm -hmm. of course oh yeah that's right mm -hmm. it's the mocking laugh if you overcome that your faith already has a good beginning if you are here today and you may be laughing at God's promises and your own dreams you're in a good company Abraham was here also I remember when many years ago my pastor would speak to me and tell me in his van he would tell me that God will use you God will do great things to you and you will preach and you will speak at big conferences and we will have revival and you will actually preach in English you will do more than stealing bicycles from Goodwill on Saturday <laughs> your life has purpose your life has meaning and I remember I would be sitting there and I'm listening but inside I was laughing I was like he has no idea I have no desire to preach I don't like to preach that is not my thing and I'm sitting there but I'm outside I'm looking oh good Bob mm, 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 mm. I try not to say anything so he doesn't keep going more and more and more but then inside I'm laughing and I'm like this is not right this is not gonna happen he doesn't know me he doesn't know my problems he doesn't know my insecurities he doesn't know I don't have anything I don't know what he sees I don't know why he's saying these things but he was speaking that and my faith was like that I was laughing because I didn't believe God could use me you know Abraham had to overcome another laugh when he finally got a little baby named Isaac and another big baby named Ishmael was laughing at Isaac and said you think you're gonna be the right man who will inherit everything and when Abraham saw that he says you're not gonna laugh at my promise and he drove him away the first laughter you have to overcome is the laughter of your own unbelief the second laughter is the laughter of people who are close to you who laugh at your vision laugh at your commitment to God well you're gonna get baptized in that church well you, you you think that you're just gonna simply rise up you think you're gonna be the first one to finish school we all in our family broke every marriage is destroyed and that's exactly how you're gonna be oh you gotta go to the doctor get checked in I know you're 25 but we all have cancer you gotta go check in because it's not gonna pass you by and when people begin to laugh at your idea at your vision for your life and this is the moment where you have to protect your vision and not protect the opinions of people because the last time I checked you cannot pay your bills with the opinions of people can somebody say amen when Jesus walks into the room and there is a dead girl that's laying out there and people start the Bible says they were mocking and laughing Jesus why because Jesus walks into the room and he says the girl is not dead they're like we checked her pulse she is he said nope Jesus you're not a doctor you're a carpenter how do you know she's not dead she's sleeping how dare you say that who you think you are you think you're a doctor why are you saying that and the Bible says they were laughing at him they were mocking him and what I love about Jesus is he just didn't try to convince them debate and he said hey guys there's four exit doors which one do you like that one this one that one or that one please choose one every person who laughs at the things God is dealing and working with you you have to nicely and politely show them the exit 
if you surround yourself with those people or because they're famous or because they're rich and they're connected and you try to simply please them and you give up your dream to please those people you're the most miserable person Tri-Cities has ever had walk on its soil. People pleasers will never achieve anything in life. 